Hello everyone, my name is Xamar and um, today I'm going to be um, playing RMSV, um, a fan game made by one of my friends. Um, so I'm going to be linking the game into the description below. Um, yeah, so it's a fan made, uh, a fan made game um, about the first book of RMSV, the Zero of Eight book, which I really like. So let's start it up, let's start that bad boy. How does one describe Artemis Fowl? Various psychiatrists have tried and failed. The main problem is Artemis' own intelligence. He bamboozled every test thrown at him. He had puzzled the greatest mi medical mind and set sent many of them gibbering to their own hospitals. There is no doubt that Artemis is a child prodigy. But why does someone of such brilliance dedicate himself to criminal activities? This is a question that can be answered by only one person. And he delights in not talking. The, I, I'm just gonna take a break right now. The art, the drawings are so good. And the music, I don't know if you can hear it well, but it is really good. It loops, but it's still great. Like, it's it's some good, it's some good music, and some really good art. Perhaps the best way to create an accurate picture of Artemis is to tell the now famous account of his first villain, villainous venture. Is it? Is this how we say it? Villainous? I don't know. Let's let's go. Let's continue. I have put together this report from first-hand interview with the victims. And as this tale unfolds, you will now realize that this was not easy. The story began several years ago at the dawn of the 21st century. That's... I'm just gonna say the, the book series was made at the dawn, the dawn of the 21st century. That's why the story is um, making place in this time, uh, uh, at this time. Yeah, and now the book is at least 15 years old, so that's normal, that um, it's, yeah, you understand. Armsfall has devised a planet to restore his family's fortune, a planet that could topple civilization and plunge the planet into a cross-species war. He was 12 years old at the time, Okay, I have to click again. Ho Chi Minh Vill <laughs> sorry. Ho Chi Minh City in the summer. Sweltering by anyone's san standard. Sorry if I misspell some words. I'm French, so deal with it. Oops. Needless to say, Arms File would not have been willing to put up with such discomfort. If something extremely important had not been at stake. At stake, sorry. Important to the plan. Oh, look at that cute Artemis. Oh, look at that face. Oh, he's just too cute. Son did not. <laughs> I'm not gonna cut anything in this. I'm just gonna be raw footage of this. <laughs> so yeah, you'll you'll hear me fail many times. Sun did not suit Artemis. He did not look well in it. Long hours indoor in front of a computer screen had bleached the glow from his skin. Heh. <laughs> Same. Like, before and after summer, I was like, I, I, I came from a normal skin color to white. Almost. I was pale, pale, pale. So yeah, kind of like Artemis. <laughs> He was as white as a vampire and almost as testy in the light of day. I hope this isn't another wild goose chase, butler. Especially after Cario. Uh, is this how we say it? I don't know. It was, it was a gentle rebook. They had traveled to Egypt on the world, on the word of butler's informant. No, sir. I'm certain this time. <laughs> 
I'm not good at voice acting as boys, okay? Especially Butler or Artemis because he doesn't sound like a girl. Negan is a good man. Hmm. Drawn it. Drawn it. Artemis unconfessed. Uh, I think it's how we say it. I don't know. Pass Passerby would have been amazed to hear the large Eurasian man refer to the boy as Sir. This was, after all, the third millennium. But this was no or ordinary relationship. I love the art style. I really love it. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna repeat it a lot of a lot of time. And these were no ordinary tourists. Look at them eyes. Oh, it's just too cute. Too cute. I'm just. Oh. They were sitting outside a curbside cafe. Cafe. Um. Cafe. Cafe. Yeah. On Dong Kai Street, watching the local te the local teenagers circle the square on moped. On moped. Nagan. Negan, 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 uh, uh, I don't know, was late. And the padded patch of shade provided by the umbrella was, undo was doing little to improve Artemis' mood. Look at them angry boy. Someone, he give him a hug, he needs a hug. Oh wait, he might kill you if you, if you hug him. Don't do this. But this was just his daily persism. <laughs> Sorry. We need to sulk with a spark of hope. Could this trip actually yield the results? Oh, yield results? Would they find the book? Oh. It was too much to hope for. A way to skirt to the to their table. Sorry. More tea, sir? Oh, yes, that damn mustache. Yes. He asked, head bobbing furiously. As our <laughs> sorry, Artemis sighed. Spare me the tread and sat down. The waiter turned instinctively to Butler, who was, after all, the adult. But sir, I I am the waiter. Artemis stopped the table for attention. You are wearing handmade loafer, a silk shirt, and three signed rings. Your English has a tingle of Oxford about it, and your nails have the, sus have the soft sheen of the recently manicured. You are not the waiter. You are on contact, Megan and Xuan, and you have adopted this pathetic disguise to discreetly check for weaponry. Nigan Sholu said, Is it true? It is true, sorry. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, he's amazed at how awful I, I am for reading, even if it's not the first time we do this part. Like, I did the beginning, but I stopped. Like, I stopped at one part, so I don't know the whole game. Hardly. A ragged apron does not a waiter make. That's damn smile, I need to screenshot that. Screenshot. <laughs> Nagan said, pouring some some mint tea into a tiny, a tiny china cup. Sorry. Let me fill you up in the weaponry status, continued Artemis. I am unharmed, but Butler here, my... Ah, Butler? Has a sick sawyer in his, sawyer in his saw, shoulder holster, two, sh two Shrek throwing knives in his boots, a daring two shot up in... His sleeve, Garrotty rires in his match, and three stun grenades conceal his various broken. Anything else, Butler? The gush, sir. Oh yes, a good old ball bearing gush stuffed down his shirt. Megan brought the cup trembling to his lips. Don't be alarmed, Mr. Xuan. The weapon will not be used on you. Megan didn't seem reassured. Yeah, you better. You better. You better. No, Butler could kill you in a hundred different ways without the use of his weapon. Yes, he, 
that damn evil. I love this. Oh, I love this face. Though I'm not. I'm sure one could would be quite sufficient. Sorry, I'm <laughs> struggling. <laughs> Maybe again, it was it was by now. Troll is pooped. Spooped. You better. You better be spooped. I don't know who you are against. Narrative Mr. Jenner had this effect on people. Oh, I wonder why. I wonder why. Appeal to listen, speaking with the authority and vocabulary of a powerful adult. Yeah, damn cute boy. Megan had heard of the name Fowl before. Who hadn't in the international wonder world? Sorry for the background noise. But it assumed you'd be dealing with Artem Senior, not his boy. To the word boy hardly seemed to do this gaunt and bill and the individual justice. And the giant butler. It was obvious he, he, that he could snap a man's backbone like a twig with those mama hands. Megan was starting to think that no amount of money was worth another minute in the strange company. And now the business, said Artemis, placing a micro Ricardo on the table. You answered on our web advertisement. Nagan nodded, suddenly praying at that his information was accurate. Yes, Mr. M Master Foil. What's your, what you're looking for? I, I know where it is. Really? And I am supposed to take your word for this? You could be walking me straight into an ambush. An ambush. My fellow... Sorry, Artemis, I'm feeling your f I'm feeling your words. <sighs> Sorry. My family is not without enemies. Butler snatched a mosquito out of the air. The air beside his employee's ear. Ear, air. <laughs> no, no, said Negan, reaching for his wallet. Here, look. Artemis studied the Polaroid. <laughs> Polaroid. Pol <laughs> Polo Polaroid. He willed. His ear is hurt to maintain a calm beat. It seemed promising, but anything could be faked these days with a PC and flatbed scanner. The picture. Oh, why are you giving up on me, brain? <laughs> the picture showed a hand reaching from layered shadow, a molded green hand. Hmm, explain. This woman, sh she is a healer. Near to Doe Street. She works in exchange for rice wine. All the time. Drunk. Artemis nodded. It makes sense. It made sense. The drinking. One of the few consistent facts his research hadn't, hadn't heard. It. He stood pulling the, crease, the creases from his white polo shirts. F shirt. He is not wearing more mini shirts. He's only wearing one. Very well. Lead on, Mr. Xuan. Negan wiped the sweat from his stringy mustache. Yeah, them stringy mustache. Information only. That was the air crewman. I, I don't want any curse in my head. But Lord exper expertly crept down from him behind the neck. You gotta die. I'm sorry, Mr. Xuan, but the time when you had a choice is m in matters is long past. Yes, the music. But Roy steered the pro the prostating. Pros pro prostating. Pro protesting Vietnamese. Man to the rented four wheel drive that was hardly necessary. On the flat street on the of home Oshiman City, or Saigon at the local is still called it. But Artemis preferred to be as insulated from civilians as possible. The jeep inched forward at, at a painfully slow rate, made out the most excruciating, excruciating by the anticipating <coughs> and patient building an arm his chest. He could press it no longer. Could they at last be? Could they at last be at the end of their quest? After six false alarm across three continents, could this wine so so then? Healer could be a goal to go at the end of the rainbow. <laughs> Artemis almost chuckled. Gold at the end of the rainbow. He made the joke. 
Now there's something that didn't happen every day. The mud part, like the mud pits part, like fish in a giant shoal. They, there seemed to be no end of the cr to the crowd. Even at the hallway were full of to bursting with fenders and hackers. Cook dropped, crooks dropped their fish heads in, into work, work of fi hissing oil. Sorry, I'm so bad. And urging treader their way underfoot, searching for unguarded valdoops. Others sat in the shades, wearing out their thumbs on Game Boys. Negan was sweating right through his cat khaki top. It wasn't the humidity, he was used to that. It was the swell situation. He should have known better than to mix magic and crime. No more answering shady inter internet request, and certainly no more consorting with the son of your or your son's year of your emperor, a European crime lord. The jeep could only go so far. Evidently, the side streets grew too narrow for the four-wheeled drive. Artemis turned to Nigan. It seems like we must proceed on foot, Mr. Xuan. Run if you'd like, but expect a sharp and fail pain between your shoulder blades. Oh, yes. Butler. Nagan glanced into Butler's eyes. They were a deep, a deep blue, almost black. Do -do 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 -do, that sense! <laughs> there was no mercy in those eyes. Oh yes, Nigan is gonna have a bad time. Uh, I wanna run. Okay, I'm running. I, I, yes, sir. Nigan was quivering and fearful of what his life has become. Anyway, he did hardly did to say he couldn't risk a second longer in his company. If his information was wrong, he didn't want to be around to face the consequences of that. They all the early narrowed turreted lane. Sewage and drain pipes fed directly onto the muddy surface. Crippled and beggars huddled on rice mat iron slide. Most of the residents of this lane had nothing to spare, with the exception of three. Well, where is she? Negan jabbed a finger toward the black triangle beneath the rusted fire escape. There, under there. As the two turned to face the pile of squ squalor and filth, Nigat ran. Oh yes. <laughs> He's alive, you're dependent on it, but you're gonna... Butler. Yes, sir. It's unfortunate that you didn't keep your words, Mr. Nigan. I suppose you were smarter than that. Because unlike you, I keep my words. Perhaps that's why I am such an, eff an effective businessman. N no, please. Ah. It took only a mere moment before the informant was subdued. Artemis was irritated. So it seems that this trip was futile after all. This quest was, f was fool's gold. So to speak. Butler, it appears that again another disappointment and fraud. Butler quietly placed the knocked out body into a year ward garbage can. Okay, the first time I the first time I read this I thought he they killed Xuan, but they didn't because he's just not knocked out. Negan would wake up with a rather nasty bump on his head later on. Perhaps that would be more preferable for him over the promised death. Yeah, I thought he would die. It would have been <laughs> hecka funny. At least they got use they got use out of the mind wiping sedative. Oh okay. It appears so, sir. I apologize my lead was incorrect. Indeed. Let us be going then. It's too hot to dolly about any longer. I suppose we should return to another plan after all. And so, climbing to their vehicle, the strange boy and his bodyguard vanished, onward to terrorize the world with whatever foul plan they were, they would carry forth. Ending one. Oh yes, I need. <laughs>
Load. Yes, like I said, I loaded. I loaded it before. Okay, sorry. I'm just gonna take out a notebook. Yes, sorry for the noise. I'm taking out that notebook. So I got to ending one. Noting it. Okay, I got it. Let's stay. Like in the like the book tell us to do. Don't worry. I won't run. The alley narrowed to a red lane. Sewage and drain and drain pipes fed directly on the muddy surface. Cripples and beggars huddled on her. Okay, I'm just Just skip. Okay. She never comes out, even to buy rice spirits. She sends out a runner. How can I go now? Can I go? Artemis didn't bother answering. Instead, he picked his way across the puddle line, lane to the lee of the fire escape. He could discern for furtive moment movement in the shadows. Butler, could could you hand me my me my goggles? Butler plucked a set of night vision glasses from his belt and placed them in Artemis's outstretched arm. The motor buzzed to suit the light. Oh, them glasses! <laughs> them glasses! <laughs> the motor buzzed to suit the light. Okay. Artemis fixed the glasses to his face. Everything became radioactive green. Taking a deep breath, he turned his gaze to the screaming shadows. Something squatted on a raffia mat, shifting in easily in the almost non existent light. Ar Artemis found Fine tuned to focus, the figure was small, abnormally so, and wrapped in a filthy shawl. Empty spirit jars were half buried in mud around her. One from home poked from the firmed material. It seemed green, but then so did everything except so so did everything else. I had a good start, and I failed, of course. Madam, I have a proposition for you. The figure's head rubbled sleepily. She rasped, her voice like nails on a school board. Oh, I'm kind of cringing at this this thought because, oh, nails on a school board is not the best thing. Wine, wine, English. Artemis smiled to give the stone check. Artemis, uh, aversion to the light, check. Harish, actually. Now, about my proposition. The healer shook a bony finger craftily. Well, f wine first, then talk. Butler. The bodyguard reached into a pocket and drew out a half pin of the finest Irish whiskey. I mistook the bottle and held it teasingly beyond the shadows. He barely had time to, re to remove his goal when he, the claw-like hand darted from the from the gloom to sm snatch the whiskey. A model green hand. There was no doubt. Arn swallowed the triumphant grin. Pay your friend, butler, in full. Remember, Mr. Xuan, this is between us. You don't want butler to come to come back, do you? N no, no, Mr. Four. Foul. My, my lips are sealed. They had... They had better be, or Butler will seal them permanently. <laughs> Negan skipped off down the alley, so so relieved to be alive that he didn't that he didn't even bother counting the sheaf of US currency. In any event, it it was all there. All twenty thousand dollars. Not bad for half an hour's work. Ernest turned back to the healer. Now, madame, you have something that I want. The heel stung, Ca caught a drop of alcohol at the corner of her mouth. Yes, Irish. Some head, bad tooth, eye heel. Armistice replaced a night vision goggle and squatted to her level. I am perfectly healthy, madam. Apart from a slight dust mite allergy. I feel your Armistice, that sucks. I have the same allergy. And I don't think every even you can do anything about that. I feel you, Harlem. Seriously, I do. It sucks. No, what I want from you is your book. The hang froze. Brad eyes glint, glinted from beneath the shawl. Book. Don't know about no book. 
I am a healer. You want book? Go to the library. Artemis signed with exaggerated patience. You are no healer. You are a sprite. I, I'm not even going to try it during this fairy. Catalan, whichever language you prefer to use, and what you, and and I want your book. From a long, for a long moment, the creature said nothing. Then she threw the, sh like the shawl from her forehead. Oh, she, she, ki she's cute. In the green glow of the night vision goggle, her feeder leaped at Artemis like a Halloween mask. The fairy's nose was long and hooked under two slitted golden high, golden eyes. Golden eyes. Sorry. Her years were prodded and the alcohol addiction has melted her skin like body. It's kinda sad actually. If you know about the book, human. She spoke slowly as she fought the numbing effect of the alcohol. Then you know about the magic I have in my fist. I can kill you with the snap of my finger. I think not. Look at you. You're near dead. The rice wine has dulled your senses, reduced to healing words. Pathetic. I am here to save you in return for the book. What could a human want with our book? That is no concern of yours. All you need to know all are your options. The sprite's pointed ears quivered. Options? Oh, sorry, my mouse. Once one, you refuse to give us the book and we go home leaving you to rot in the sewer. Yes, I choose this option. And no. Don't be so eager. If we leave without the book, you will be dead in a day. A day? A day? The healer laughed. I will not leave you by such century. Even fairies sent then turned to the human realm can survive to the ages. Not with a half bit half a pint of holy water inside them. You bastard said Artemis, stopping the now empty whiskey bottle. I don't have a bottle, so I can't do the noise. But I have a box. Plastic box. <laughs> the fear blanched, then screamed in a, a high keening herbal sound. Holy water? You have murdered me, human. It is just it's just water. Like that part only almost made me <laughs> quit reading Artemis file. Well. Then I just continue, then like it never comes up again. So yeet. True. Admit it, Artemis. It should start to burn any minutes now. <laughs> oh yes, that's it. I'm taking a screenshot. <laughs> the fairy poked her stomach tentatively. And in the second option Listening ha listening now, are we? Very well then. Option two, you give me the book for thirty minutes only. Then I return your magic to you. The sprite's jaw. The sprite's jaw dropped. Return my magic? Not possible. Oh, but it is. I have in my position two ampoules. This is a French. This is French. Ampoule. <laughs> oh my god, ow, my eyes. My eye, ow. One of a, a vial of spring water from the fairy well, 60 meter below the ring of Tara. Possibly the most magical place on earth. This will counteract the holy water. And the other option? Uh, and the other? The other is a little shot of man-made magic. A virus that feeds off of... That feeds on alcohol mixed with a growth agent. It will flush every drop of rice wine from your body. Remove the dependence and even bolster your fair, failing liver. It'll be messy, but after a day you'll be... Z zipping around as though you never you were a thousand years old again the sprite licked her lip to be able to rejoin the people tempting how do i know to how, how do i know to trust you human you have tricked me once already good point here's the deal i give you the water on fade then after i have had a book i uh, look at the book you get the booster take it or leave it the fairy considered the plant Considered the pain was already curling around her abdomen. She thrust out over her wrist. I'll take it. I thought you might. Butler? The giant ma manservant unwrapped a soft, velcroed case containing a serangon. 
into a vial. He loaned it to the clean one, shooting it into the sprite's clammy arm. The fairy stiffed him momentarily and then relaxed. Strong magic. Yes, but not as strong as your own will be when I give you the second new Jackson. Now, the book. The sprite reached into the folds of her filthy robe, ma ma rummaging for nature. Artemis held his breath. This was it. Soon, the falls would be great again. A new empire would, ri would rise with Artemis' father the second, as it said. The fairy woman withdrew a close, a closed fist. No use to it to, to, to you anyway, written in the old tongue. Artemis started, not trusting himself to speak. She hoped. She opened her knobby. Knobbly fin- Knobbly. I don't know. Fingers. Lying in her palms was a tiny golden volume the size of a, match of a matchbox. Her here, human. Thirty of your minutes. No more. But look, took the tiny tongue. I didn't have time to read. Okay. The bodyguard activated the compact digital camera and began, and began photographing each with her ten page of the book. The process took several minutes. Then, when it was finished, the entire volume was stored on a camera's chip. Admins prefer not to take chances with information. Airport security equipment had been known to wipe many, many a vital disk. So he instructed his aide to transfer the file to his portal, portable phone and from there to email it to Fall Manor in Dublin. Before the, before the 30 minutes were up, the file containing every symbol in the first book was sitting safely in the file server. I was turned the tiny volume to its owner. Nice doing business with you. The sprite lurched to her knee. The other potion, human. Oh yes, the restoring booster. I suppose I did promise. Yes, human, promise. Well, very well, but before we administered it, I must warn you that purging is not pleasant. You're not going to enjoy this one bit. The fairy registered around her all the, at the scrolled fit. You think I'm enjoying this? I want to fly again. Butler loaded the second vial, shooting the swan straight into the cardiac artery. The sprite immediately, immediately collapsed on the mat, her until the dollar frame craving violently. Time to leave. A hundred years of alcohol leaving a body by any means not possible is not a pretty sign. No. The, the face. Oh, looks like there's a North Style change. I don't know. It's good. I'm not saying any mean and anything wrong with it. But I held his tongue until they were born the hate hetero connection from Bangkok. Then he sa he had to ask Artemis. Artemis looked from the screen on his, of his power book. He was getting a head start on the translation. Yes, the sprite. Why didn't we simply keep the book and leave her to die? A crisis in his evidence, Butler. My way, the people will have no reason to be sus suspicious. But the sprite. I really think she will confess to showing human the book. And in case I mix the slight and Amnesia came to her second injection. Injection. When she finally wakes up, the last week it will be a blur. Lorla nodded appreciatively. Always two steps ahead. That was Master Arnis. People said he was a ship of the old book block. They were wrong. Uh, Master Artemis was a brand new block, the likes of which have never, never been seen before. Doubts. At surge, Butler returned to his copy of Guns and Ammo. Yes, Guns and Ammo, leaving his employer to unravel the secret of the universe. Part 1 complete! Yeet! So yeah, that was the first part of Artemis Fowl. I hope you enjoyed. My, I'm gonna do a second part. Um, if there is one. I don't know. Bye.